Welcome to the video. Today I want to talk about bag leaks and hopefully give some advice of ways to prevent them from happening. Now, the first thing that I want to mention is that if you have a colostomy bag or an ileostomy bag, bag leaks are going to happen. They're a reality of living with one. Now, I'm not saying that you can't reduce the amount that it happens, but to accept that it happens is going to make you feel a lot better. When I first got my bag, uh, I was 17 years old and I used to get really angry when it would leak because I would be frustrated and that anger wasn't pointed at anything and it just made me feel bad. By accepting that sometimes it happens and that I have ways to prevent it or ways to fix it once it has, I had a better attitude towards my bag. So I just wanted to kick things off with that because the reality of it is they're going to happen and it's okay that it happens. One of the most important thing is how often is it happening? If it happens all the time, I think the first thing you should look at is that the appliance itself. There are so many different types of bags out there, different base plates, different sizes, different ways to empty them. Some obviously don't empty because they're colostomy bags. Some like elostomies, they actually empty. There, there are sprays that help you take them off. There are like strips that help you keep them on. There are wipes, there are just a mind number, a mind number? A mind boggling number of different accessories for your bag. Now, finding all of those things is going to take time, but the first thing is the appliance itself, the bag itself. Looking for one that fits you. You're gonna have this bag for a really long time and you can even get free samples from companies. So even if you're in the States or if you're in the UK or Europe, these companies will give you free samples of their bags because they know once you've chosen them, you will be staying with them for a number of years. So they're okay to give out samples and I highly recommend that you do that to try and find the bag that fits for you. And I think that's where you should start when it comes to uh, bag leaks. So my bag, uh, so I like a larger bag. I'm a big person, I eat a lot of food, therefore I have a lot of an output. So I wanted a bag that was could hold a lot. Um, I like a flat base plate because I feel like it sticks better for me. I don't like the convex stuff. Um, I need a big base plate as well because I work out and I feel like a bigger pl base plate manipulates better when I'm moving in different ways. And also the benefit of having a larger bag is that it can fill up more and I can sleep for longer. And I found that with smaller ones, they would overfill. And then in the night while I'm asleep, they could come away from the skin. Even with the bag that I have now, that can come away a little bit, but because the base plate is so big, it never gets to a point where it can actually, you know, the output can come outside of the bag. But enough about me. So I think there are three questions you can ask yourself to narrow down what it is that could potentially causing these bad bag leaks and then you can figure out a solution to fix them. So let's get into that now. Question I ask myself and I encourage you to ask yourself as well is how, what and when? How often is it happening? What is happening? And when is it happening? So asking these questions can really narrow things down and hopefully bring you to a solution so let's use an example. How often is it happening? It happens most nights. What is happening? My bag is filling up so much that it seems to come away from the skin. And when is it happening? It's happening about four o'clock in the morning, let's say 4 a.m. Okay, because we know that information, that gives us potential solutions. So if we really like the bag that we have, we really like the kit that we have, that's not something that we want to change. What else can we manipulate to prevent the bag from leaking? So if it's overfilling, that is, you know, you have to put food in for it to come out. You could start making notes of when you ate, and then if your bag leaks, you can be like, okay, I could eat earlier than that in the day, or later than that in the day, to hopefully prevent it from happening. So if I eat later, maybe my bag will empty it. 5 a.m., 6 a.m., when I'm waking up anyway to go to work. Or another one is you could set an alarm for four o'clock in the morning and not make notes about your food and wake up when the alarm goes off and go and empty your bag, uh, probably before 4 a.m. if that's when 
it, it, it leaks. That solution is, some people would find that a little extreme, but it could work. It, you know, you would naturally start waking up at that time, like going for a pee in the night, except you don't get that feedback from having a bag. You don't get any feeling in it because it has no nerve ending. So you don't get that feeling of needing the toilet. And hopefully that would prevent that situation from happening in the future. Now, let's do another example. So uh, how often is it happening? Well, it seems to be pretty random. I can't really pin it down. What is happening? It seems that the output is getting underneath the base plate um, when I'm lying down sometimes maybe, or when my stoma retracts. Um, now, um, what was the last one? When, when is this happening? So when my stoma retracts, but it can happen anywhere. So there's only really one thing that you've identified here, but there is a solution and if you have a stoma that can retract quite a lot then the convex bags can help because they go inwards therefore when your stoma really shrinks it prevents the output from going inside like i said it doesn't prevent it 100 percent, but that is a way for you to potentially fix that bag leak so there are some hopefully helpful things that you could try to prevent bag leaks in the future um, and the last part i want to talk about is being prepared for if a bag leaks and what do you do? So let's say you have a bag leak. Are you at home? If you're at home, you obviously have all of the things that you need. Now, what I like to do is I have spare bags wherever I go. So in my car, I have a box, the same box that the um, bags come in. So I will put everything I need and I'll put that into my car. I'll also have them in my camera bag when I go for walks, I will take them everywhere. I also like to take a change of clothes. Usually I don't use, do trousers, but I would take maybe a, a t-shirt or a jacket and I'll have a spare t-shirt and jacket in my car. I'll have it in my bag. And therefore, no matter where I go, I will have a bag with me to be able to change. Now, if I'm going somewhere like on a night out, usually my girlfriend's going with me and her purse, she'll be able to have a bag in it um, with a minimal kit, so it wouldn't be as much, uh, like there probably wouldn't be any wipes or anything, it would just be a bag uh, and not even the spray stuff, but enough for me to change it no matter where I was. And that is just a peace of mind. It's very rare that I've actually had to use these. I have at work, um, they have a disabled toilet and I've used that, but it's, a, it's more for your peace of mind to know that if it happens, I am prepared. Now, I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it useful. Please give it a like. If you did, share it with someone who you know has a bag, has an ileostomy, has a colostomy. Maybe it could help them. Uh, if you found this helpful as well, maybe think about subscribing to the channel because this channel is more focused about living with an ileostomy and I hopefully create content that will make our lives easier to live with this and also show that you can have an amazing life even if you have an ileostomy. So thank you very much and I'll catch you guys in the next video.